Hey guys, today I wanted to give you five tips so that you can maximize your diet adherence. So we all pretty much know nowadays that we need to control our overall calories. We need to make sure that we eat a good amount of nutrient dense food, you know, not eat like complete dickheads, not eat like complete children. And we know that that is the goal. We know that that's what we need to do, but how do we make sure we actually follow through with what we know we need to be doing? So tip number one on the maximize adherence uh, checklist is to actually eat foods that you enjoy. And what I mean by this is that although we are aware of calories being pretty much the main driver to body composition change and food quality coming sort of in second, a lot of people are still not actually eating meals that they enjoy. They're thinking of healthy food being boring and bland. Uh, they're forcing themselves to eat food that they don't really like. And they feel like they then have to miss out on their sort of favorite homemade recipes or even their favorite meals out. And this is definitely not the case. If you are going to stick with something for the long haul, you actually need to enjoy it. So make sure you include your favorite recipes, make sure you include your favorite types of meals, by all means, increase your protein intake, increase your vegetable intake, but don't then cut out your favorite foods because you're just not going to enjoy it and you're not going to be consistent. Tip number two is to give yourself permission to eat anything that you'd like. So again, we need to have mostly a nutrient dense diet. We need to eat plenty of fruits and vegetables. We need to eat plenty of lean meats. Yes, but that doesn't mean that we need to sacrifice cookies, cakes, ice cream, sweets, uh, and all of the good things that is out there for us to be enjoyed. And actually, if you do restrict these things, you're much more likely to binge on them uh, and then restrict them and then binge them again. And that's the yo-yo binge and restrict cycle that I myself have definitely fallen trap into, and I'm sure you have as well. So. If you give yourself permission to eat anything you'd like, these things usually lose their power over you. Trust me, you think that you just eat pizza and ice cream and cookies all day long, but if you actually did that all day, every day, you, you'd pretty soon get bored of it and want some vegetables. And maybe you need to go through that, uh, maybe you need to go through that for a bit. Maybe you actually need to eat whatever you want for a while for that stuff to lose its power over you if you've been restricting, uh, restricting for such a long period of time. Number three is to manage your environment. Okay, so we need to give ourselves permission to eat everything. We need to find the best balance that works for us. A lot of the time people just don't even have the right foods within their houses, within their flats. And sometimes they do have then too much of this calorie dense food. So my advice to people like you watching this video is to think about self-serving packages of uh, high calorie foods. So rather than having um, big packets of biscuits and crisps, Think about single serving snack bars, single serving crisp packets that you can have within the house to manage your uh, snackitude. And also think about having plenty of vegetables in, plenty of fruits in, plenty of lean meats in. If you make sure that you do a good shop every week that gives you all of the food that you need and all of the food for the, the uh, that you plan to create that week, then you're going to be far more successful. So manage your environment by preparing things ahead of time. Step number four is be effective with your time. So with looking at step three, that could mean getting a food shop in uh, online so that you don't need to go and get it and making it at a convenience time to be delivered to you. It could also mean playing around with things like frozen vegetables, ready meals, um, and spice mixes and packets and all of the other things like that. If you want to make a homemade curry and you don't want to make it from scratch with 7 million different types of paste, herbs and spices and all the other kind of things, then just use a jar from like Sharwoods or Patax or Asda or whatever. Um, that way you're going to save time and it's still going to be a healthy dish. It may have more calories in because of the sauce, but if you account for that within your daily intake, then it's not going to get in the way of your progress and it's no less healthy than just cooking it for yourself. And then number five is to have a flexible mindset. I think the biggest thing that gets in people's way with adherence is when plans change or when someone says, right, let's go out for dinner, uh, let's go out for drinks. Uh, well, let's not cook the, let's not have the lunch that we prepared. Let's, let's go out for lunch instead. And a simple change in someone's plan can just derail them completely. And what you need to remember is your body is a very, very clever machine and can to adapt to a lot of different things. And so can your mindset if you allow it to. Just because someone says, let's go out for drinks, it doesn't mean that your whole plan is ruined. Just because someone says, let's go out for dinner and you've prepared a low calorie dinner, 
doesn't mean that it has to be out of the picture. You can still do these things and make progress by sticking to eating plenty of protein, eating vegetables, eating when you're hungry, stopping when you're full, and just being aware of your overall consumption in comparison to your goals. So there we have it guys, five steps. Eat food that you enjoy, give yourself permission to eat anything that you'd like, manage your environment for success, be effective with your time, and have a flexible mindset to overcome the roadblocks that come every day. Let me know how you get on with them.